highest speed rails are still appearing in the Storch Made Weather Center. Month of October so far, if you go back and look, you'll find that there really hasn't been a whole lot in the rain bucket. Yeah, it's remarkable that Bradley is close to two inches below average as far as rain and, and, and less than a half an inch has fallen officially at Sikorsky Airport. Although when you have rain that keeps falling on the weekends, you tend to notice it more. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, what's going to happen now to us as we have a setup where moisture is coming in off the Atlantic. That's tropical in nature moisture. So some downpours are going to be out there. May not rain all the time, but when it does, it can come down. You got to have the umbrella with you right out the door tomorrow morning because, uh, well, the rain's coming in for the morning rush. And there'll be periods of rain right uh, into and through Saturday. Uh, so, yeah, perhaps, again, it's not all day rains and, and not, a, not a washout, but it certainly is going to be very wet at times. And then we're going to have a blustery, chilly feel as we go on uh, for Sunday early next week. Matter of fact, there could be the first widespread frost inland Tuesday morning, followed by temperatures that could soar into and through the 70s by Thursday and Friday of next week. Next week is actually looking very, very nice. A stretch of dry, sunny, and uh, well, after a chilly start to the week, a big time warm up the middle and end of the week. Just uh, some thoughts on that at the moment. Uh, by the way, the Orion meteor showers are out this weekend with all the clouds and moisture. Probably not going to see them next uh, week. End of next week will be the full hunter's moon. All right, let's talk about what's happening right now. Uh, something that we don't want to talk about because I think we've had like 80. This will make, make it eight weekends in a row with at least some rain on one day of the weekend. High pressure in the central Atlantic. You can see the clockwise flow. Look at how that rain is lined up around the high end. It's coming right up into our backyard. Uh, so that's our Friday weather. Then that line that's out to the west, that's the former typhoon out in the Pacific. That energy is coming in from the west, and that can be our weather on Saturday. Uh, so we put the maps in motion by 7 a.m. The rain's already in to southern Connecticut. 8 a.m., it's basically raining everywhere. Periods of rain tomorrow, tomorrow night. Now, there are signs that tomorrow afternoon, western Connecticut, all of a sudden it's not raining. Really, you can't go by this. You just have to say there's periods of rain tomorrow tomorrow night and on into uh, into Saturday. Does it rain all the time? And if it's not raining, there's probably some drizzle happening. And you can see going into Friday evening, maybe things calm down a little bit. Then the rain's right back in for Saturday morning and still some periods of rain Saturday afternoon. Temperature in that 60 to 65 range and then windy, lots of clouds, chilly. Highs uh, in that uh, low mid 50 range on Sunday. Some of the hilltops may have a hard time getting above 50. Winds are gusting 30 to 35 miles per hour. There may be a wadi scattered shower, especially in the hills on Sunday as well. So Sunday isn't exactly picnic weather. It's uh, increasing cloudiness, rain by dawn, temperature in the 50s, 60s tomorrow, on and off rain, downpours. And the same idea going into uh, Saturday, some periods of rain with temperatures in the 60s, windy, lots of clouds on Sunday. And the shoreline, you're probably dry. Inland could have the showers. and. I oh, don't think there's going to be frost at the coast on Tuesday morning, but look at the sunshines that are showing next week. As temperatures are going to be soaring into and through the 60s uh, midweek and the 70s uh, for Thursday and Friday of next week. Uh, so uh, right now uh, it would appear that, uh, well, next week is, uh, is doing, doing great. Uh, but, yeah, we've got the rain to deal with Friday, Friday night, and Saturday. Again, it doesn't rain all the time. When it does, it could downpour. And Gil will have all the very latest on your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday forecast uh, on Good Morning Connecticut, starting at 4 a.m. on Friday. All right, I hope you're feeling well. Bye.